Good morning and way Good over morning. to our journey to Story Brooklyn. My name is Rose and I'll be your captain and storyteller aboard the Aurora. For your safety, we ask that you please remain seated throughout our voyage, keeping your hands on like and feet inside the boat at all times. And please do supervise your inner child so that our story doesn't take <laughs> any unexpected turns. Now most people travel to enchanted worlds to the pages of a book. But those who go in person, be it down a rabbit hole, or with a pixie, that's find a way in to be quite magical. Or... Rising! <laughs> but don't worry, friends, so it looks like we just passed through the John the Monster, the whale, the same whale that's one with Pinocchio. We're actually heading into a magical place called Storybook Land. Our story begins with Once Upon a Time. We're starting out with three little pigs and a big bad wolf who lives in a cave over here on my left. Who's always hoping and puffing after those three little pigs that build the houses on the right. One of straw, one of sticks, and one of guaranteed wolf of bricks. Right around the corner, our story takes a strange turn. It's too clean. Mr. 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 And went off to Neverland, where they would never ever have to grow up. And places like Agrabah, City of Mystery and Enchantment, where a street rat named the lad first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. So the two were from different worlds, through the power of love and the help of a genie. They were married and live in that Sultan's palace today. These magical places in Storybook Land are where love shines forever. Like the twinkling lights in the archways above us, the very ones where Aladdin and Jasmine soared over sideways and under, on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. While good stories are still full of light, they have their dark places as well. Places of mystery, like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Legend says whoever frees the genie will be granted three wishes. Uh, uh, uh. Let's all make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White wished for a safe place and she fled the evil queen and came across the cozy forest cottage on my right. Off to the seventh floor who offered her shelter and thanks for her kindness. A little further back you can see their mind and maybe hear them singing hi ho. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her evil stepmother forbade it and left her behind in the blue room shop on my left. Her fairy godmother granted her wish, but when she didn't leave by midnight her carriage turned back into a pumpkin and still sits on that small bridge you see there. While magic does have its limits, thankfully, love does not. Now Cinderella lives with her prince in that castle, her top of the Dreams can come true, and just like wishes, they inspire our stories here. While some dream of happily ever after, others dream of drifting off to sleep on hills of potent flowers, like the giant patchwork quote on my left that was inspired by the 1933 Philly Symphony Cartel in the Lullaby Land. There's magic everywhere in storybook land, even our trees will never grow up thanks to the King of Elf and Seven, one of the many but of course we also love the classics like the wind and the willows, the Molly Ratty and Mr. Toad, whose stately manner is coming up on our map. Ah, uh, but sorry friends, Jay Nadia Toad is not home right now. He's in his motor car on a wild ride, merrily, merrily on his way to... 